If you've been following the NBA for a while, chances are you've seen plenty of injuries take a toll on careers that could have been so much more. As brutal as they may be, most players can usually come back to the game they love, sometimes even return to their former glory. When they do call it quits, it's usually from a combination of injuries that have been compounding over the years. But imagine a 25-year-old going from multi-time all-star to Stephen Hawking in just one gruesome mishap. How sad would that be? This story takes us all the way back to 1955, when the league still looked like a mayonnaise factory and the Rochester Royals drafted big man Maurice Stokes second overall. Big Mo was one of the first front court players with guard skills, described as combining the quickness of Michael Jordan and Elgin Baylor with the strength of your typical big man. Right from the start, he was one of the best players you've never heard of, recording 32 points, 10 rebounds and 8 assists in his very first game. His debut was followed up with a short but impressive career, averaging 16 points, 17 rebounds and 5 assists a game. To put this into perspective, he was the league's top rebounder during that 3 year stretch and second in assists behind only the original point god, Bob Cousy. This kind of play earned him 3 All-Star appearances, 3 second teams and 1956 Rookie of the Year. Disaster struck at the worst possible time, just as he was about to make his playoff debut. During the last game of just his third regular season, Stokes was knocked unconscious after driving to the basket, drawing contact and hitting his head on the hardwood. After getting revived with smelling salts, he was able to finish the game and even put up his usual stats in game 1 against Detroit. The plane ride back home is where the sh** really hit the fan, as Stokes got really sick and felt like he was about to die. Right after landing, he was taken to a hospital and woke up paralyzed the next morning. It turned out that the fall gave him brain damage which took away his motor functions. He stayed in that vegetative state for 12 years, right until his death in 1970 from a heart attack, at only 36 years old. During those 12 years, Stokes was cared for by his friend and teammate Jack Twyman, who became his legal guardian and even organized a charity exhibition game to help pay for his medical bills, which later became an annual tradition. It's that kind of selfless dedication to a teammate, who wasn't even a teammate anymore, during a time when black-white friendships were a lot less common, that the Twyman Stokes Teammate of the Year award introduced in 2014 was named after. Both Stokes and Twyman are now Hall of Famers, with their jerseys retired by the Sacramento Kings, the team that the Royals eventually became.